Hi, Scorpio. Okay, uh, welcome to the space. If you're new here, welcome back if you're returning. If you are new here, it's called Opal Oracle. It's weird how we name things. Um, I guess it helps us to remember, right? When we can't see. Um, anyway, I hope you're good. I hope you had a good birthday. Uh, depending on whenever you find this, I hope now is good for you. Um, we just had Thanksgiving um, where I live, so I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. I mean, every day is for giving thanks, right? Uh, as And as this is recorded in December Holy Day time, I hope that um, you are thankful. There's so much to be thankful for. Uh, it's a time of giving, right? It's like Thanksgiving is like thanking for what you have received and then November and then December is <clears throat> when we move forward then it's a time of giving back it's really beautiful I wonder if the months do that maybe they're kind of like that October would be giving back September is being thankful for what you've gotten Leo is giving back Cancer is being thankful for Anyway, thanks, Scorpio. You always inspire me. Um, always such interesting conversations. Okay, so last month your reading was awesome. I really do hope you had a good birthday. Or good, good, good suns shine in your Scorpio house, right? So I picked, there's six cards. Um, I'm doing something different from, for you. Uh, you want to pick a card, any card? <laughs> Which one? This one? Because, okay, this was the thing, is I kept shuffling, right? And usually one will pop out or one will sort of stick stick in to be like, yeah, that one, like a sign or a symbol that's kind of like, we're up here, pay attention to that. It's this one, it's this way, whatever it is. But it was almost like, it was so fluid and smooth that it's almost like a person has to just decide for themselves, right? We're like, no, this one here this this it's this goes there and um you know for now until it goes back in the pile and then it goes back to the place wherever i guess you want it to go so there's some kind of uh create creative expression in what you have right now and maybe what you can do with it Uh, there also may be something that's blossoming or has been blossoming that's surprising to you. And I feel like it's really beautiful. It's And you know what's so wonderful about it? I like this shape. What's so wonderful about, about this surprise bloom um, is that it wasn't expected. You know, someone already saw the beauty in something. You know, the, the, they already appreciated it. And because of that appreciation, I guess, and care and, and putting time into it and paying attention to something and ensuring that it grows and repotting when necessary, then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, this is blooming. Um, and it may even be in a time, you know, when you don't, ex again, expect it. You, I, there wasn't any, I, we talked about expectations too, right? Okay, let's look at this first card. Oh no, this goes at the bottom. Oh, can you see what we made? Hold on. Can you see what we made? It's like this shape. Do you wanna look at the cards? It's a little far away. Let me see if I can make some room. Hold on a second. There's a lot of things on this table. Usually what happens is tables, they get, I gather things on surfaces, right? Things get gathered and then they kind of, um, I'll go through everything, touch it, give it energy. You taught me that lesson. Thank you for that. You taught the world that lesson of um, that everything is energy, right? Everything has its... Um, and when, when you interact with it, when you appreciate it, when you understand what it's kind of meant for, I guess, then 
um, or I guess interacting with it is going to help you to understand what it's meant for. Interesting, Scorpio. Okay, so let's let's look at there. I think it's about there. It's almost like a tree. Or again, maybe this is the blossoming. All right, let's see what's at the bottom. There you are. There you are. Okay. Then we have Daughter of Swords, Seven of Swords. Don't get hung up on judgments. Well, we just yelled that. Sorry. Um, about yourself. It's all. About, it's about yourself. Please don't get caught up. Someone's over here. There's energy over here that's like, believe in yourself. You. You don't. Um, There's all these trees down here too. Oh, someone's getting rid of the weeds. Okay, good, good. Someone's getting rid of the weeds. It's like they cleared the path and then they're moving on to the next space. But I suppose in between there's, um, there's some things that haven't been attended to or at the very least um, haven't been interacted with for a while. So, so there's something new there, but, but there's also like information that's like, okay, this way, here's the next place to, to clear or like, here's the next, it, it's this way. But I suppose, like we mentioned in the beginning, you, you do have help here, but it also has to be something that you do for yourself. I want you to trust. Okay. Look, your intuition's really strong, right? You're very in tune. You're very sensitive. Um, and you love to learn. That's why some of your lessons are hard because you actually love to learn. Now this is more, has, I want this to, I see, I want this to be more. I want this to be more. What do you want? What do you want to be? What do, what do you want more of? You're allowed to have things in life. What do you want? Um, I also feel like filling in that sentence would be helpful. Okay, that, it's almost like there's this question here. Um, there could be a test of what you've been learning too, but I feel like you're gonna, you can't really see the cards, sorry. Rather you look at the ancestors than the cards. Okay. I want I want you to see I want you to see clearly. Okay. Let's open up this one. Oh, here's your card. I love this card in this deck, particularly. Look, here's another path. There's another path. You don't have to be in the darkness. Okay, you create your own light anyway. And there's, there's the blossoming. There's the blossoming too. Can you see this? Can you see, oh my God, I'm so excited. Can you see all those little specks in the side? It's like these little tiny white flowers. And here's those little specks. And then here's all those tiny white flowers. Huh. So you are meant to create your own path in some kind of way. I love that it, this reminds me of, um, okay, there's black, there's white, and there's gray, right? Black is full shadow, gray is kind of in between white or the absence of color is is on the other side right or maybe it's all the color i can never get those th those two I, I don't know who to believe with that it doesn't matter the point is is that this is 
stepping into a new stage. There's the black, the white, the gray. But this is you. Look, what are you looking towards? Okay, you can't see the future yet. That's fine. Don't worry about that. You're not supposed to. It wouldn't be any fun. Like fully. But didn't we just say, I want you to see, I want you to be able to see. There's another, I feel like this is another path. It's like it keeps. Okay, so the path goes. All right, you can't get off the path right now. There's something that's, um, that's awesome. I feel like this is a good thing. You're not supposed to go off the path. Now, are you supposed to attend to the edges of things, pay attention to them, understand that there are things going on in there? Yes. But I feel like the path is what is important, and it's almost like if, if you try to go off the path because um, you're afraid or you don't trust yourself, you don't believe in yourself, I feel like you'll have support that's like, no, 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 stay on the path, you're good. Or here, it's that way. It's like a redirection when you can't figure it out for yourself. This could be your guides or other people or whatever. There's something. There's something that comes through. Through, it's a communic. It's communicative that that guides something. Um, I see also that you have the tools that you need. And maybe a part of it is to end up on this on this true path of you, like who you. Maybe it's who you really are. Or. Who you're meant to, who you're, who you're meant to be, or who you're meant to become, right? You change all the time, but but the changing is is not supposed to be like a a difficulty with whatever is around you. It's excuse me. It's a changing. The changing is meant so you can find like the most authentic, like to find the real you. You know what I mean? To be comfortable in that. Okay. So this is the thing. When you can't, sometimes when you can't see the path, again, there's, there's guides, there's communication, there's friends, there's even children. It's like any kind of information. It could come through a song on the radio. It's going to help you to get back on the path where the light is, right? So you don't get lost in the darkness. I guess taking advice is also helpful because it, it that's, that's, well, again, it shows an openness to learning, right? Then you end up on the path again. It's solid. You can finally see the blossoms. You don't want to go away from what is blooming, Right? You want to, it's almost, I feel like someone else talked about this. They were like, the flowers will show you the way. Okay, then as you move forward, there's going to be times again where you're like, all right, I have to stay on the path. I have to stay, stay in the light. Or at least be aware of where it is, even if you want to step off the path, because you are nocturnal. But this is one of those times where you have to figure it out, uh, with your sensory minus your eyes, right? It's like you got to feel it. It's almost like, you know, when you're standing by, by, I don't know, you're standing somewhere and you could even be in the shadow of something, like the shadow of a tree or, or in the shade. But then once the you step out, you can feel where the sun is, right? You can feel where the warmth is, where the light is. You can see, you can even, even though you can't see, like you can kind of see it, right? Through the color, things change. And so this will also, this will help what guides you to be like, okay, here. But both of these are about trusting yourself deeply. Actually, all of these are, are that, are a bit of that. Okay, let's see the top of the tree or whatever we're making here. Okay, five of coins. So this mirrors when, okay, all the hard stuff. Oh, I just had like a well, it was like a well of water like came up uh, 
through my body, like up into the back of my eyes. And then, but then it's like all that water, all that emotion, instead of just crying or like instead of letting it out, it just sat there. It's like this emotion sat there. But what's interesting is like, I couldn't figure out whether it was a, a feeling of like, to, like to, to, to let it go because of, because it's a pain or to let it, let it out because it's, it, it's so beautiful for what you've overcome. Maybe it's a bit of both. Oh, I see, this goes down in the middle. No. We'll leave that there for now. What is this talking about? Okay, there's still light in this card. Do you see this? There's still light in this card, but the path, the light of the path to, that shows the way to the door is, isn't very strong. This, just like the, the top and the bottom here are both a bit of that, where it's like, okay, the light's right there, the path's right there. This is the way to go. But it's almost as if a person doesn't believe in themselves for some reason. This could be, okay, we talked about this last month. You don't have to sacrifice your own comfort. All the time. What do you expect of yourself? What do you hope for yourself? You're allowed to do that. Did you know that? I mean, because the thing is, is you already know that your self connects to everything else. But so you still got to be aware, right? Did you just see the light shift there? We like moved it with our hands. We just literally like shifted it over. So... I wouldn't let anybody borrow any money during this time. I don't feel like that's a wise idea. Um, if you have any bills that you need to pay, like debts that you owe, uh, whether this is a sorry to somebody or like um, uh, like money or whatever, something something you know like a bill, something that's written down, contractual, I would I wouldn't ignore that. I would pay that. That's also something that you're not allowed. Right, everybody has Scorpio, everybody has debt. Debt actually comes through the Taurus space uh, because again, it's it's like you have to give uh, to be able to relinquish things, right? But you don't wanna give so much that you don't have anything for yourself, okay? Let's see the next card. This one goes in the middle, I see. There we go. Look at this, so there's this, the Son of Staffs. I feel like I want to check. We talked about this on the... I feel like we need to check the battery, right? Weren't we just talking about that? Hope you didn't just see my tuchus. 10%. I think we'll be okay. Okay. So this is in the heart now, right? This is in the center. We have fire here. It's the first fire to come out. There's a candle. There's a butterfly. Right, like a moth to a flame, burned by the fire. My love is blank. Can't you feel my desire? It's also Sagittarian energy to me. It's like Sagittarius and Scorpio mixed together. Um, a red candle, a yellow candle. Oh, 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 she's looking at that light. That goes into the warmth. You have to feel the warmth. Okay, five of, a a five, of, five of coins is about being cold, right? Seven of swords is also cold. Eight of swords is cold. Uh, swords are cold, right? So is earth. So 
I guess this is m ensuring that it's warm, inside and outside. Um, I do see in this time frame your energy coming back to you, but there could be things around you, again, that need some attention. But But what's also interesting is it's all... Just a second. Oh, we went to the center before this. What is this one? Oh, the three of coins. Look how beautiful this card is. It's like putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. So now we have a positive earth. Okay. Just a second. I see working together here because you know what there are two there are two people that are putting this together it's not just like the, someone alone but we had to go all the way around to be able to find that right and I guess it's kind of like what do you do on your own is going to dictate what really happens in a long-term way Uh, with other people. And again, I see this as a path also. Make sure that your money's in order, okay? You do rule other people's money. So I guess this could also just be appreciating your job, uh, finding, like, You know, for instance, when I go to pay my taxes every year, though I'm not saying I'm pro whatever, I'm just saying when there are certain things that we have to do in this life because we're born in this time. This is what I believe. OK, if we were born in a different time, we would have different duties, or de de you know, depending where, when and where we're, we're created. But the point is, is that like, for instance, I'll give an example. When I go to pay my taxes and I write that check, I am excited. I am so happy that I have the money to do that, that I even have a job to do that. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it feels good. It feels good to be on time. It feels good to be, be ahead of time. It feels good to have, like, not to owe anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know about you, but I don't like owing anybody anything. I don't like to borrow, you know? But that's also a sideways way of, of, of an expression of, well, I don't wanna ask anybody for anything because Maybe there have been times that you've asked people for things or needed things, wanted things, whatever. It's probably more of a want than a need. Hear that hawk? And and they denied you. But I get remember that wasn't meant to prod or to, to cut away like your security or your confidence. It was there to remind you how to take care of yourself, how to give yourself what you want or what you need to cre to understand that you have the ability to create that. Right? Not only with yourself, but in relation and connection with other people. Right? Cool. I love you, Scorpio. Um, these tiles are so pretty. They remind me of, like, Greece or Italy or Portugal, something like that. Really pretty. It's a place where there's clean water. It's a place where... You know, tile, it lasts so long, right? It, it, um, it takes a lot to make it. Like from, from what do they say, soup, soup to nuts, right? It takes a long time from one end all the way to the other. And then even after that, it's like, what can you do with that? So I would also say this is like gathering, maybe laying things out that you do have, putting things, again, putting things together. When is the last time you made a, you did a puzzle? Um, oh, there's even three people here. I thought there was just two, but there's three. Cool. So there's more people that you than you think that are doing what you do, I guess, or 
this could also be people that are helpful in your life. Um, it's like creating... Because when the path before was just lit for you, right? It's like, okay, here's this dirt. Here's a dirt road. Nothing wrong with that. I love a dirt road. But dirt roads are rough, right? It'd be like a dirt floor, right? And then this is like, okay, now that we've cleaned this all out, oh my God, you're making a well, the well. You're like tiling the well so that it can never crumble in on itself again. Or at very least, it can last your lifetime or multiple lifetimes if it's, if it's appreciated. I mean, I guess even if it wasn't, again, it still blooms. It's still there. <laughs> what? 26. Leo, Leo's reading will be, Leo's reading had a 26 also. So again, this is making something more comfortable. It's making something more beautiful. I know it's hard to take, but problems are so, most of the time, say like 80% of the time, they are created by ourselves. They're created in our own mind from our hard experiences of the past. Please do not allow that that was difficult of the past to define again who it is that you are now. Please, please. Don't let it deny your ability to create or to want or to build or to fix or to make more comfortable, okay? Please. Okay. You know, everyone, there's, there's gold. Somebody else talked about this recently. There's gold, silver, and bronze, right? For everything that we interact with, we do. It's like there's always gold, silver, and bronze. Um, sometimes this is like a team thing. Sometimes it's an individual thing. You're allowed, I see you're allowed to have a competitive nature. Um, meaning that like, you know, your neighbor Libra has a hard time with this too, like feeling like they deserve to win when they've tried really hard to do something or like taking a lot of time to learn about something. It's like you're allowed to get an A plus on the test. Don't, you know. Interesting. Interesting. And you know what, when you do, re when you really can't see, by the way, whenever that is, or you get too stuck in your head, uh, you know, you're, you're trying to, you, again, there's, there's a, like a lack of clarity in that moment or whatever it is, you need somebody to cut it, like, to, if you need any kind of support, it's there for you whenever you get stuck like that, okay? The only time that it's just you that you have to do it for yourself. Well, actually, no, you always have help. But sometimes you're not looking at it. This With this five of coins, you, you don't. So remember that this connects to Taurus, your opposite. This connects to um, faith, right? Um, Faith in yourself. Faith in your create your ability to create something and to not have it be destroyed. Okay? Maybe that's something you want to pray on in this time. I feel like candle 
candles that could be helpful with this, right? You want to focus in on the light of it. It's a soft light and it's warm. It's any kind of fire, really. See, there comes that wave of emotion again and it went all the way up. I don't feel like it even goes too low. This was almost like from the heart up, up. It's like all the feminine up, up behind the eyes and it's like it filled with water again, but we kind of stopped it. So whether this is coming again through a pa place of releasing pain or if it's, it's just an appreciation for what you've been through, like tears of joy, right? Tears of sorrow, whatever they are, please let them out. That's not going to put the fire out. If anything, it helps the fire become stronger because that's water within that's interrupting the fire within. And that could be where there's more water than fire, Sagittarius, right? You got to make sure there's a good balance of it. Both sides of you, Scorpio, are about balance, right? What? Cool reading. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year whenever you find this. It's a little spidey. Yeah, it is. Hey, it's a jumping spider. Cool. They're the ones with the eyes that go like this. They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay. Aries reading. Uh, and Leo's reading. Okay. Those are both fire, right? We talked about Sagittarius, so like fire. Interesting. Well, this is faith. This is this is fun. This is this is fortitude, right? F's or Saturn. Maybe you want to use a few P words or F words to describe yourself also. Okay. Or to describe whatever thing you're interacting with. Okay. I love you so much. Again, happiest holy days. Um, I hope it's good for you. And um, thank you for a wonderful year. I know it, was, it felt trippy to me. Timing was a little different. Um, but a lot of cool things happened, so happy for that. A lot of good experiences, right? Okay. Well, I wish you the best. And... Um, I'll talk to you next time, okay? Peace out.